with the tips that they get to take home, there are some people that are earning over $100,000 a year. I, that something has to be done about that. There has to be a tip credit. These guys should be getting a tip credit. Reported, somebody reported that last week I, I talked about cutting servers' wages. I'm here to look everybody in the eye and tell you I never said that. I would not. Go ahead and laugh all you want. 2005, I offered an amendment while there was a minimum wage discussion going on in the House floor that would eliminate minimum wage so that we could have the discussion about this. That I believe minimum wage, I believe that if you excel, if you're the best server in the House, you should be allowed to make more than the minimum wage. And if maybe you're not the best, maybe you're the weakest, maybe you should make a little bit less and be able to work your way up. I said there's a possibility to make 100. You know what? That isn't the point. It's not the amount. The idea was not about, oh, servers are making too much money. My understanding of your statement is the only people who deserve to make six figures are people who own property. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We we don't. We're supposed to listen to just certain people. We're not supposed to listen to everybody. I think you got to listen to everybody. It was never about a proposal to reduce minimum wage, so we're not even having that discussion. Katie, here's the thing. I put myself through school. I put myself through law school. I did too. And if you want to sit down and talk about that, I'd be happy to. And uh, I don't know where you got the idea that Tom Emmer wants your wage to be two thirteen an hour. That again is a wonderful deal. That when the media, when the media, hey, good. You check out YouTube, you and I come on over, let's sit down. You